Ooh, early. Back like we never left. DDA and this chapter of One Piece definitely kind of went with the things I said previously. My thought was that Jack attacked the ships first and then he came to Zoe, but based on this chapter, it's saying that no, he did what he did on this island first and then he went and attacked the ships to free Doflamingo. Jack, I think it's safe to say that he is a Zoan. He's from the cat family, all right? Looking at the jaw structure and we see some outlines of what could possibly be a main. So I, I guess we can, you know, we can draw that conclusion based on what we've seen that he's probably a, a lion zone. Now it would make sense that the leader that we, we believe uh, of Kaido's army is the king of the beasts, right? Jack, Th that would make sense, but you know, nothing confirmed here, but we're getting more and more of Jack and we, we're gonna see more, okay? We're gonna see more of Jack and we're kind of being revealed to his personality at this point. Jack seems to be an asshole, right? We see Jack and he's kind of torturing someone on a cross. I don't think that person was Sanji, but th th that kind of affected Wanda a lot. What I'm thinking happened is that Sanji saw this going on and he offered himself up. He's saying, yo, okay, can you, if he stop, I'll turn myself in. Jack is like, who the hell are you? Well, I'm a prince, or I'm the son of a Gorosei, or I'm this important person where he stopped and he left. That's why they call the Straw Hats their benefactors. That's why they're in debt to the Straw Hats because Sanji saved them. We see Chopper is dressed in, in king's clothing. Nami has this sexy lingerie type stuff on. They're laying on sheep. And it's, it's interesting because now Nami runs to Luffy and she's saying Sanji's what? Sanji's not dead, but I think we're headed towards a retrieval arc. I think we're definitely headed there because I, I, either Oda's trolling where Sanji's basically being a pervert and he's kind of looking at all the female minks and he's going there, or Sanji offered himself up for whoever was getting attacked, or maybe Jack took him as well and, and still took Sanji. So, I mean, I, I definitely enjoyed this chapter. We see the interactions with um, Beppo saying, hey, just let our captain know that we're, I'm in the forest and I can't leave. I, because Beppo right now, he's part of the revolution, the rebels, because he like, can't leave the forest. So Pedro that we saw in previous chapter, he's probably leading those guys and they can't abandon their guys right now. So they say, listen, we, we, we can't come join the crew back right now. So just let my captain know that we're still here because Wanda says, you know, at the end of the day, Beppo is still a pirate. It's something going on. We think it's civil war because Wanda does allude to the fact that there are others that would be scared of you if they didn't know about you. We just think of you of less minks, basically your monkey minks with less hair. So you're going to run into the mink men that basically look at humans as lesser, they're not going to care about humans, and I'm sure they have minks that have had run-ins with humans that have been less than stellar. They've had run-ins with humans that have resulted in possible death of minks, and we've seen minks being sold before, so the fact that how to be able to react to the straw hats and how they were waiting for the straw hats shows that something happened for them to become that fond of the straw hats. The whole Sanji thing though, everyone is anticipating his death. And I don't think Sanji's dead. That would pass up an amazing opportunity. The opportunity I'm thinking is the retrieval of Sanji. If Sanji offers up himself, that kind of gives Luffy an opportunity to develop as a character even more and the others to develop. Because they immediately flashed to Zoro when Nami mentioned the fact that Sanji's blank. And it, Listen, man, if you can kill Sanji off screen, this is something that has to be done in front of the camera that we can see because I expect and anticipated Sanji's death, but not right now. Not this soon and in this way. It's I believe it's going to happen, but it can't happen the same way Ace died, where it's like Luffy's right there, then boom, he dies right in front of him. No, it can't happen that way. If, you know, in, in some case where Sanji, Sanji's head is said to Luffy, that could spur some development. It could spur a new time skip. But right now, I, I think either Oda's trolling with Sanji being on the island, but he's with the women and, and or the female mink and he's kind of being a pervert or maybe the nosebleed thing has reared its ugly head again or 
Sanji offered himself in place of that guy who was getting beaten on the cross and Jack took him and left, right? Jack is the badass because we know that he attacked the fleet, right? It confirmed that he attacked the fleet and he sunk two ships. He sunk two ships that which contained Admiral, former fleet admiral and a pretty powerful vice admiral. So the fact that he was able to sink two ships kind of shows that Jack, this guy, is immensely powerful. And first it says the translation is kind of weird because it says Jack is dead and it says, okay, they couldn't find any sign of Jack, so he's probably still alive. It didn't confirm or not if Dofi got rescued. I'm thinking Dofi probably got rescued, okay? I'm thinking if he was able to sink two ships, maybe they and assumed that Dofi probably died as well as Jack. But come on, I, 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 I believe that the Sky Demon is now free and roaming the seas again. I believe that Jack is probably a lion Zoan, the king of the beasts. Um, and I think it, it would be fitting, right? Because he said, who do, you, who do you think I am? I'm Jack. He has an arrogant personality and that's the personality of the king of the beasts. That I'm the king. Are you really going to tell me that some mere admirals or whatever are gonna stop me I'm the king what are you saying I mean that's my thoughts on the chapter really good chapter we have had some great chapters back to back to back yo last chapter was not amazing but it was good nonetheless I, th I, I think this chapter was a bit better than last week because we're getting some more revelations especially with the Sanji thing I'm really interested in that but let me know what you think guys do you think Sanji's dead Unlikely, I believe he's captured or Otis trolling and he's really on the island, but being a pervert, okay? So again, let me know what you think. Like if, if you did, don't forget to come with it. I'm, I'm forgetting to talk about Law and him using shambles to transport the other straw hats, but I'm not going to go through the whole chapter. We all read it, right? We all read it. So basically, those are the points I wanted to touch on. Those are the key points I believe I didn't miss anything. But again, let me know what you thought about a chapter. Good stuff, as always, from One Piece. Like if it if you did, comment. Don't forget to subscribe, people. Have a good day.